7 a.m., nearly 24 hours since I last ate, and just one hormone measurement left before I can give in to my hunger. Good morning. morning. How Good are morning. you? I'm ravenous. Oh, really? I'm a bit tired. Okay. Well, let me take your coat. Thank you. And what we'll do is we'll get right into the experiment. Okay. One, two, three. Dr. LaRue does the last blood test, and I can finally eat. Nicely inside. And I immediately tuck into the sweetest, fattiest food on the table. And I'm going to have my first bite of food for 24 hours. It was quite possibly the best meal of my life. It's really, really good. But what I'm really keen to find out is how my hormone results compare to those of an obese person. Let's take a seat here. The results are in, and the good news is that you're completely normal. Great. What we see that immediately when you've had your meal, your hunger hormone starts falling. And then after a short period, it starts rising. And by the beginning of the next morning, it is incredibly high. Which is exactly how I felt. I was beside myself by then. And how about the fullness hormone? Looking at that, you, sh you see the opposite. Immediately when you eat, the fullness hormone shoots up, makes you feel full, allows you to stop eating, and then it starts plummeting, and it stays down for the whole duration. So how would that compare with the profile of someone who, had, who was overweight or obese? With the hunger hormone, surprisingly, obese patients didn't have as much hunger as we expected them. Their hunger hormone never gets switched on and it stays at the same level throughout the day and then starts rising if we actually had to deprive them of food. Right. So it's a little bit like a light shining dimly, yep. but where your light shines brightly gets switched off. When they eat, their light stays on. Mm. So that constant nagging sensation remains throughout the day. Which is really interesting because not knowing about this hormone, what I expected was that you would tell me that someone who was overweight had a much, much stronger hunger hormone than I do. But in fact, what you're saying is that that's not the case. You're right, and we were surprised until we looked at their fullness hormones. And suddenly it started making sense. Because what you would see in somebody that is overweight, their fullness hormone only rises a small amount and then comes down again. So they actually never get the feeling of fullness. And you would hear that very often speaking to people who are overweight. They'll say, I'm not that hungry, but when I start eating, I can't stop. I'm pretty shocked to discover that my assumption of a lifetime, which is that I am the size I am because of my character, is nonsense. And it seems from what you're saying as if I just have a fortunate hormone set. If your hormone levels were different, the battle would have been much harder. Had I been asked to starve a minute longer, I'm not sure I would have managed. My hunger hormone was so powerful that it actually affected my decision about what and how much to eat. 